Hey y'all and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm really thinking about making this wall behind me my hey y'all wall. I have a sign that's a wooden sign with galvanized tin hey y'all lettering and I want to put it behind me and then the other day I saw another sign that said hey y'all. So I'm thinking about taking down the M and my navy blue and white painting, I don't know what you would call that, art and just making this an entire hey y'all wall. I don't know, I'm still thinking about it. Um, let me know what you think about that. But anyway, today I'm coming to you to bring you a very, very, very highly requested video, which is something I never thought that y'all would want a video on. But of course, I'm here for it. So today's topic, if you've already read the title, is Optivia Health Coaching. I'm going to start off by telling you my health coaching story, tell you some of the things I love about health coaching, and then tell you how you can kind of step forward and become a health coach as well. I'll also kind of explain what health coaches are, what we do, that kind of stuff. One thing I will not be getting into, and if this is something that you were coming to the video for, sorry, I won't be getting into the income and the exact numbers. I'm not going to talk about that kind of thing. I don't want to get into any hot water with that. And things are different depending on which route you go. So if you have questions about income and how to make this a full-time business or how to get started, speak with your business coach or your health coach who will then become your business coach. So let's get started with my health coaching journey. So I first started Optivia itself in September of 2017. If you've watched my full Optivia health journey, you know this, hold on, it gets a little different. But I started in September 2017 and lost 50 pounds by Christmas that year and then knew that this is something I wanted to give away. I had health coached for another program that I had tried a couple of years back. It just didn't work that well for me. That doesn't mean it doesn't work for other people, but it wasn't my program. My program was obviously Optivia, and I knew at the end of December that I needed to just give this gift away. Started health coaching the end of December. I was in it, but I wasn't really truly committed to it until about March. Um, I realized that this is something that I was being called to if you're religious or if you're not religious. It was something that I felt like was being laid on my heart. I was being led to, however you want to um, explain that. I just felt very strongly this is something I was supposed to be doing because I started to feel disconnected with my current job. And this was all I wanted to do. I wanted to talk to new people about this amazing program that I had found. I wanted to talk to complete strangers about this amazing program that I had found. And it was starting to head that way. I would tell um, friends all the time, I just can't stop thinking about this. I absolutely love this program. I was loving my own health journey. It was just something that I really felt was um, what I, that I was called to. So in about March is when I really started and like gave it my all. And now, starting in March of this year, I was able to go full-time. So in about a year and three months or so, I was able to go from a full-time job with the state to a full-time job with Optivia. Um, that's about all I'm going get to get into income-wise. Just know that it was able to bring me home for my full-time job. And I love it. I love that I now get to call this my full-time job, but even more, I love that I get to be my own boss. That's a really awesome thing about Optivia and being a health coach is you make your own business. You decide your hours. You decide how many clients you want to support. You decide all of that. So at first I started, I was only doing, you know, maybe an hour and a half to two hours of client support calls a week. And now I spend four days of the week doing two ish hours of client support and I'm still loving it. So there are so many wonderful things about health coaching and we'll get into that of course. Let me kind of give you my top three things that I love about health coaching. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment them down below, shoot me an email, friend me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, any of those. I'd be happy to answer your questions for you. But let's get into my top three loves about Optivia Health Coaching. Number one, I think it is like the coolest thing ever that I have 90% of my clients actually I've never met them face to face. They found me on YouTube, they sent me an email and we went from there. We talk every single week. A lot of these people I would call really good friends. I know that if I was in a pickle in their state they'd be the first ones to come help me out. A lot of them I've told if you ever come to Texas let me know. Let's hang out and stay at my house. You know we've become such good friends and never even met in person. So I think that's really, really cool. Just the amazing friendships that you make with clients 
and also with coaches. A lot of my fellow health coaches are now really good friends of mine. Meeting them in person for the first time in November was like the craziest and most beautiful thing ever. So it's just really amazing all the wonderful relationships and friendships that can grow from this. Number two. It has helped me accountability wise. I will say that I love helping other people and it's one of the reasons why I started health coaching, but I'd be lying if I told you it was the only reason that I started health coaching. I also started health coaching to keep myself accountable. I knew myself and I knew that my past history and that in the past when I had done something like that, I would lose a substantial amount of weight and then I would get bored or I would reward myself and then next thing I knew I was back to where I was probably plus a few pounds. So I knew that being a health coach, I was now really accountable for myself because I was a role model for others. As my coach Megan says, you cannot coach with a Snickers bar in your hand. And I think that's hilarious, but also so true. So it's definitely helped me with accountability. I chalk health coaching up to the biggest reason that I lost the 90 pounds and have maintained it now for couple months or so more than that I don't even know how many months um it's just it's an amazing way to keep yourself accountable and lastly well lastly for this video there are a billion reasons why I love health coaching but number three for this video is I make my own hours I am my own boss this is my business as I mentioned before this is whatever I make it again if you become a health coach it's whatever you make it if you don't want to work on the weekends you don't have to work on the weekends you don't want to work on Monday nights you don't have to work on Monday nights it's completely up to you and you make it whatever you want to make it the downside to that or the hard thing about that is I am a hundred percent responsible for my successes but also a hundred percent responsible for my failures I've had to learn how to really time manage and also how to keep myself accountable business wise as well but I will say that I've been able to do that loving every single part of that. So now that I've shared with you some of the reasons why I love health coaching, let me kind of, I guess, explain what a health coach does on a daily basis. So if you have started Optivia, you may have done something that health coaches like to call health assessments. It's where we talk on the phone with you, learn about you, learn about your health goals, what you're wanting to achieve, why you want to achieve them, and maybe a little bit about your daily routine and habits to help you best pick the plan for your journey. So we do those depending on how many times you want to a week. I typically do anywhere between three and seven, three and eight a week. Um, sometimes more than that, depending on how things have planned out. The other thing that we do on a daily basis is, of course, client support. So once we have our clients who have started the program, you should be receiving a call from your health coach once a week. Um, I call my clients once a week unless we have kind of an understanding or maybe they only want to be talked to once a month or it's kind of a they'll reach out to me whenever they need me kind of thing. It's kind of up to my clients, but the majority of my clients I speak to once a week. We have a designated day that I call them. We chat about their week, how things are going, how they feel program is going, some progress that they've made. Maybe people are noticing and they have some non-scale victories that they want to share. So I always tell people coaching is my favorite part of my life. So call me or text me at any time, but we're definitely going to talk once a week on your weekly check-in day. A health coach is going to be your coach, your encourager, your supporter. We're going to pick you up when you're down. We're going to give you our hacks. We're going to give you our tips and tricks. That's what we're here for. Basically, anything that has to do with Optivia that you have questions about, you're going to come to your health coach first. If we need to, we will have you reach out to other resources or we will reach out to other resources for you. But for the most part, if you got a question, text or call your health coach. Either way, that's what we're here for. I hate to say that's it, but that's kind of a health coach's biggest goal is to support you on your journey, whatever that may look like. And that's something that you'll establish with your health coach or you as a health coach will establish with your clients. Once you get to know them, you get their first week out of the way. That brings up one other thing that a coach may do. On a client's first week, we check in with them pretty much every single day for that first week because they're going through the fat burn process, getting into fat burn, and that's typically the hardest part of program. So you will speak with your health coach a little bit more that first week. But after that, it goes to two times a week or one time a week, depending on what you and your health coach work out that's best for you. So you're probably wondering, after I've gotten through this entire video, how do you become a health coach? 
super simple. Reach out to your health coach. If you find that this is something you want to explore, reach out to your health coach and you'll do just that. They may send you a video to watch that kind of gives you a little bit of an eye in to what health coaching is. Uh, and then they may sit down and ask you a couple questions like, what does your schedule look like? Can you see yourself talking to people on a daily basis about their health? Who are some people you want to help? Questions like that just to see if you, we're not going to make the decision for you, you think that this is something that would be a good fit for you. It can be a part-time job. It can be a side gig. It can also be your full-time job. Once we've done what's called a coach explore and you decide, you know what, this is definitely something I want to do, you'll then go through with your health coach, order your business kit, and get started helping clients. Your business coach will help you and walk you through your first couple clients and kind of help you get started. I don't want to get too, too much into that because every health coach is a little bit different with this process, but that's kind of health coaching in a nutshell, how to become a health coach, why I became a health coach, why I love health coaching. So I feel like I just basically talked your ear off, but I think I do that in a lot of these videos. Like I said, if there's anything that I've missed, which there probably is, drop it down below in the comments, send me an email, send me a Facebook message, whatever you need to do to get a hold of me. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching today. I want to thank you for letting me bring you another Optivia related video. I love you all and God bless you.